Hello, everyone, and welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our guest this week, Natalie Gadotti of Gadotti Communications. Each week on the post-show wrap-up, we like to bring you highlights of the conversations we've had with some of the best and brightest business owners, CEOs, and entrepreneurs in and around the state of Arkansas. We just completed a great show, so you want to go to arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com, listen to the entire podcast, because you're going to learn a lot about PR, the difference between PR and marketing, and all sorts of other gems that we were able to pull from Natalie, including some really fun plead the fifth questions. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was they a were great intense. show. <laughs> and the shrimp cocktail section was really, really good too. There's a lot of really juicy shrimp in there for you yeah. on the podcast. So you want to listen to the whole thing. But, um, sure. you know, on the podcast, uh, Natalie, you I asked you the question about what exactly is public relations and right. how do you define it? And so practically speaking, share with our viewers what public relations is. Sure. I mean, you can find some great definitions out there, specifically on the PRSA website, but I always tell people to look at it. PR is two-way communication. So it's really engaging and relating with your different target audiences. Mm -hmm. Um, And so there might be a list of three target audiences, there might be 20 target audiences that you mm-hmm. have. And you, the process of, of having a um, back and forth conversation with them and really relating them, that is PR. So there's lots of things that can come under the PR umbrella. Um, and I also like to explain it kind of in, in these three buckets of you have paid media, which is the advertising that you do. So that might be a spot you buy on the radio or a print ad that you do. You have your owned media, which is your social portals, your blog, your website, the, the, the things that you're communicating with that you have control of. And then there is earned media, and that's the public relations. And you are earning that. You are um, working to get with a reporter to have a story done, or you're working with an influencer to help tell your story. So, so if, if you're working with a startup, so mm-hmm. maybe they don't have a lot of revenues yet, they don't have really anything going too much yet, Yeah. what would be your advice for them when it comes to PR? Sure. Um, we've worked with a lot of startups, and what I have found is um, just like you would think any startup is, they're, they're wanting to go really fast, and they're wanting to get out there with their product or service. But I always say take a beat before you dive into the public relations piece of it mm-hmm. because you really need to know your business and know your story and have some wins under your belt mm-hmm. because our job as PR people is, is a storytelling job and it's a building process, building those pieces of the story. And we really need those to be able to tell the best story of your startup. Mm-hmm. So um, really focus on in the, in the business have that completely squared away, get some wins under your belt, and then it's time for PR. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, like I said, it was, it was really a shrimp smorgasbord. So um, <laughs> now, how does a business owner know if they have a PR strategy that works? How do you right. guys help a, help a client know that? Right. So um, the biggest thing I can tell clients is really know your goals and objectives and have those written out, set out. Um, we always talk about objectives being measurable and they really do need to be measurable. You know, let's take a museum. You want to increase the museum attendance to the exhibit by 10% over the previous year, put numbers to it like that. So when you go into your strategy process and you go into your action plan, you have something to measure at the Mm -hmm. end. You have something to say, did this strategy work? Um, You can throw out a bunch of strategies, but a lot of them aren't going to work if you don't know the goals and objectives. Mm -hmm. You've got to zone in on those And then you can come up with the strategies. It's really good. Well, Natalie, we want to thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. Um, For those who aren't familiar with Gadotti Communications, want to find out more, want to contact you, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Sure. The best way is to go to our website, GadottiCommunications.com, and it's G-H-I-D-O-T-T-I is Gadotti. Um, We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those are great places to um, find us. We also um, do a little thing called the Arkansas 100 that um, Mm. I would love for everybody to uh, subscribe to. It's an e-news newsletter that comes out every other week and we also have a podcast with that so yeah. go and and you can find the podcast on itunes so there you have it we have a podcast veteran right yeah. here <laughs> we probably should have had well, you interview been us it's been, i'm gonna have you guys on the podcast because it's all been right. great to be a guest right. too so. and you got david to wear his power tie that's right yeah. i dressed up dressed up for Natalie. that's right I love it. hey next week on the arkansas shrimp tank we'll have our guest colin mcreynolds of crave which has to do with food mm. you'll want to uh, tune in listen 
listen to it, find out more, and uh, see what kind of tidbits <laughs> you might be able to pick up to, to munch on and think about as an entrepreneur. Until next week, stay safe. Remember, you can always catch the full podcast at arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com. And remember, in the business world, to become a shark, we all start out as shrimp.